Trucks, 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 trucks. That's what happens in Kent. Good afternoon. It is 12, 13 p.m. Uh, we are just approaching downtown. Uh, regular classes today, so that's what's on the agenda. We're looking at 37 degrees and actual blue skies with clouds now that, uh, that we can actually see white cumulus clouds. So that is a big motivator, I suppose. Uh, we went five weeks with gray and then about two more, so uh, this will probably be the last sunny day for a couple weeks or months, but we'll, we'll make do with it. We got a real nice one here, check that out. Kent has quite the hodgepodge of nice cars. Coming up the hill there, I just saw a black SL65, not the 63 with the 6.2 liter V8, but the 65 with the X.X .X liter V12. So I don't really know why that's out in the mud. As you can see, they're building new stuff and have just destroyed the road here. Um, but yeah, you know, I saw that Ferrari 360 a couple times. There's constantly a Maserati around here. There's a couple M3s, a lot of S5s, um, and an SL65, I guess. Welcome to the neighborhood, bud. Yeah, the BMW 5 3 all right, guys, class is over. Um, it's moderately nice out, 43 degrees and uh, mostly sunny. Um, anyways, every day on the way home from Kent, I try to take a different route to see how I can get there quicker. It's only 10 miles. Some days it takes me, best case is 25 minutes. Worst case is an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, traffic downtown is right. Is that right there? That's the first green light I've gotten on the way home. Uh, I've gone through nine lights. So eight red ones. This is nine red ones now of ten. So 90% red. I, I won't count that. It's green when I go under it. 80% uh, red. Eight of ten. We'll see what it is when I get home. There's probably at least another five or ten more lights between here and home. Every single one, and I take, I'm on the main roads where most of the traffic is. These lights just stop for tiny little side streets like this. This one doesn't happen to have a light, but look at that. Just little residential side streets, and I get all of them red every day. I don't understand. Well, this is 13 red out of 18, and we're not even in Hudson yet, so 13, 18. That can't be reduced to the best of my knowledge and rational whole numbers, so I'll let you know what it is when I get through the city of Hudson and home. Just pulling in the garage, 23 red out of 30 lights, 23 thirtieths can, I don't know fractions, 23 thirtieths, I'll divide that out and tell you later tonight. Anyways, uh, total time, let me calculate that, uh, 40 minutes exactly actually, I left at 208, or 308, it's 348, so 40 minutes for 10 miles, average that out, figure out my speed, I did actually have this open. It's a miserable drive there and back. This car rattles my teeth apart. It feels like it's going to break suspension components on these roads. But I'm going to try to wash the salt off of it soon. Okay, everything's wet. And again, black water running off the car. It looks like uh, decaf coffee. If we come back here, this is what came off uh, the rear of the car. You see this? It's, it looks like gravel. It is gravel. It all gets sucked up in there. See how quickly this is drying because it's so dirty? It is really, really, really disgusting. Yeah, we're gonna get some soap on here now. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow, so I'm not even gonna dry it. The goal today is to get the salt off and make the car blue instead of brown and white again. Okay, 5.15-ish. Uh, I've actually taken the jacket off, which marks the first time of the year when I've washed a car without a jacket on. I got hot scrubbing the wheels, which haven't been done in like two months, so they're now putting shoes on. Uh, they're no longer black. They're back to uh, whatever they call that gunmetal finish. Uh, winter's taken a little bit of a toll on them. They need a good coat of wax. There's little places like that where tar has gotten on and it comes off, but it takes some rubbing with some good stuff. But I took the blower to the car again, and that appears to have gotten most of the water off. Um, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. At least that's what they say. So and the hood didn't shut right. I'll have to do that later. But uh, I think I am going to clean the exhaust out, really just because I don't want it to get so bad that it's a pain in the ass in two months when I can actually do this for good. So there's a before. There's an after. I used some of this Autosol stuff that I ordered from Germany a long time ago to uh, treat the chrome here, which is now baby smooth. Before, after I just cleaned it with some of the Zeno stuff, it felt like the inside of a used fryer pan, frying pan, so I did the tops, I didn't get the bottoms done, so they're a little nasty still, but we'll take care of that in the spring, but that looks really nice now, very shiny. 
Did not do this side yet on the outside. So that's kind of what it looked like before a camera probably can't see. It just feels really, there's a lot of friction to it and a lot of pitting and stuff. So I'll get some auto saw on that and it'll look that nice. All right, that leaves us with this, which is really shiny and really smooth. It isn't perfect. I'll do a better job come, uh, come spring. But I tried a little patch on the wheel. I've never used this stuff on the wheels before. I did this little spot here. It now feels amazing, and the rest of it feels like sandpaper. So Colt and I were talking about this a while ago. When spring gets here, I'm pulling all four wheels off this car. It's going to sit up on jack stands for a lot of hours. Well, I go over all these wheels inside and out, first with soap and stuff, and then the auto saw, and they're going to look amazing. So that's going to be later, and I'm just noticing by this Ford-esque body gap that it's time to get that hood shut right. Good morning. It's 123 Ante Meridian. Uh, I've got Colt in two years. I just spent the last hour kind of cleaning out my stuff, cleaning out PhotoStream, cleaned the display on the Mac for the first time. I actually noticed that uh, there's no longer a piece of glass in front of the screen. If you take your pinky like that, it's probably not good for it. In fact, you can barely see it on camera. But you see how it makes that, that line? Like, I remember I had a Dell Latitude C610, and it would always, the, you could see the liquid crystal move below it, as long as you don't give it too much pressure. But it's nice and clean now. No more fingerprints, no more saliva, no more food, no more, let's see, uh, sugar and toast. Yeah, so that's done. Colt, anything? Well, they can't hear you, but you're there. So. Uh, today we got the car cleaned up a little bit. Uh, it's going to rain all day tomorrow, but the salt is off, so that is good news. Tomorrow, regular classes. The sun is going to be gone for another month or two. As we can see there, 28 degrees, 38 tomorrow, and then down to 27 and snow again. Which sucks. Stock market plummeted today. Dicked. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching today. 8.06 tomorrow, 8.07 Tuesday will be the 27th. 6th, 26th already of February. Month is flying by, and that's a great news. Fe that's great news. February is a terrible month. All right, back to you Tuesday. Good night. Thanks for watching.